working to reduce the number of overdose deaths on the near east side. The 46201 zip code has the highest number of deaths this year. Today, local organizations conducted a large scale outreach effort. WRTV's Jessica Grunling has more on how they think it will help reduce overdoses. Hi. How are you doing today? Maggie Zahn is going door to door. We want to make sure we're helping the community in any way we can. Talking with neighbors or leaving flyers. A lot of people just don't know. It's not that they don't care. It's just they're unaware of the resources available to them. Maggie and her group are making sure that people are aware, especially people who live in the 46201 zip code. It's always um, in the top five, um, and recently it's been in the top one. According to the Marion County Coroner's Office, from January to September, there were 383 overdose deaths. 44 happened in the 46201 area. It's 11% of the total. We see health disparities in this neighborhood. The code really affects your health. Now the Marion County Public Health Department, Damien Center, Overdose Lifeline, and Step Up are working together. The goal is to knock on 1,500 doors and hand out Narcan and other resources. There's a really strong argument that the best people to respond to overdoses are the ones that use drugs. So putting Narcan directly into their hands is really gonna have the biggest impact. Maggie works for the Damien Center. It's one of the best things about my job, right? Like, I don't do this work for the money. It's also personal for her. I'm also a person with lived experience with substance use, so it's something that's really, really important to me. Um, you know, I've lost quite a few friends to, to overdose-related deaths. And just getting to one person is a success. I know that a lot of the folks that in my life that have passed due to an overdose-related death, there wasn't Narcan available, right? Like, we didn't know about it at the time, or there wasn't someone that had it. So the more people that we can empower to have Narcan, to be able to have the naloxone, to be able to know the resources in their community, if that saves even one person, that's all that matters. In Indianapolis, Jessica Grundling, WRTV. According to the Drug Enforcement Agency, Marion County has seen a slight decrease in the total number of overdose deaths compared to 2023. For more information on how to get resources, visit this story at WRTV.com.